Everything is in a size medium or a size 6 or a size 8 in Zara sizes. So if you're curious about that sizing, just keep watching. So the first thing is from Zara is this black button down top. Nothing fancy, you can either button it all the way up or you know leave it open. Yeah, I just think this is such a great basic to have. It just elevates the basic a little bit, I think with the collar and with the striping detail. And I love that it's just perfectly waist level, not super cropped, not super long. So just enough if you don't want to tuck it in, but also enough if you do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and this is a size medium. If you're 5'3 like me and you have, you're on the shorter arm side, I feel like it might be a little more extra arm than you probably want so sometimes it ends up bunching up on me as you can see now otherwise if I pull it all the way down you know it's it's good but yeah I have this so sometimes I just like to you know fold it over a couple times so that it fits my arm if that makes sense otherwise if you have long arms don't even need to worry about it a few months ago, my friend got me into Zara jeans. It's the best decision I've ever made. So the first few pairs of jeans are all the same style. They are the high-waisted ankle length. As usual, I'll have it linked down below. They fit me so well. These are all in a size US 8 or European 40. And yeah, they, this one is just the classic blue washed jean color. You know, it's funny because my friend is a couple inches taller than me and for her, all these ankle lengths were actually too short for her liking. So, well, if you happen to be 5'3 like me, they will hit you exactly at the ankle length, which was so perfect for me. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this color. And then again, I got all the same style, but just in different colors. So of course we have to have it in black. And again, it's perfectly ankle length on me and high waisted. Absolutely love these. Oh yeah, one thing I should mention is that even though all these jeans are in the same size, some of them fit a little looser than others, which I thought was interesting. So the true blue wash actually is the loosest of all of these pairs, which I thought was interesting. The black I feel like is maybe the second loosest it fits me just right but it also gives me a little bit of room which is great it's also in a us8 uh, european 40 just love how it's perfectly true black you know matches this black top obviously for an all black look and then i got it in gray so obsessed with this gray color i've actually not been a gray person but this last month i don't know what's wrong with me but i've been getting some gray let me know if you're a gray person <laughs> this is also in us8 size European 40. Also perfectly ankle length on me. This one fits very similar to the black jean. It perfectly fits with a teeny bit of room, but not as loose as the true blue wash jean that I showed you at the beginning. I was just obsessed with this gray. Look how nice it looks, on, even on camera. Lastly in this style, this is the lightest of this high-waisted straight leg. Oh, it's called straight leg. The lightest wash, as you can see here, it's, it's true on camera as it is in person. Um, also ankle length on me US 8 European 40 the thing with this one is this one is the tightest one of all the other high-waisted straight jeans even though they're all the same size so that's weird this jean is tightest the true blue wash jean is the loosest and the black and gray fit just about right just in case you're interested in purchasing that's something you should know and then on Black Friday, I also, I got a couple more jeans, but this time in a different fit. These are the classic mom fit jeans. I haven't even taken the tag off. That's how recent I got it. When I purchased these sizes, for some reason, I had forgotten what size I was. If you've ever been to Zara, all you see is a huge big number right here. And for some reason, I just forgot that I was a 40. So I ended up getting these two jeans in a 38. They still fit but they of course are a little tight around the waist. Anyway, so I got this gray color. This is just such a beautiful gray. Again, I'm obsessed with gray, you guys. It's also ankle length on me, which is perfect. But yeah, the mom fit is more of that, you know, huggy, curvy look. Yeah, which I think is just cute right now. And as long as it's ankle length, it's good for me. So these are in a size 38, European 38, a size US 6. If they had a 40, and if I remembered I was a 40, then I probably would've got that. But again, I just forgot what I was. This gray compared to 
to the relaxed straight. It's basically the same, but I feel like the mom fit is just a little bit darker, just so you know. And then I got the mom fit again in US 6 European 38. It's not black, but it's not the classic blue either. It's just a, a beautiful dark, not even indigo blue. Like it's, it's just such a beautiful blue. I've never had a jean or pant this color. So I'm very obsessed with this one. Again, I need to wear it. I need to take these tags off. I don't know why I still have them on, but I guess for the purposes of this video, it actually helped that I had them on. It's also ankle length mom fit and I'm just so obsessed with this color you guys like I think it just matches perfectly with beautiful camels and browns especially at this time of year you know what I mean love this okay so we're done with all the jeans that was a lot of jeans um that was six pairs of jeans I should not buy any more jeans so now on to tops. I'm obsessed with that creamy chocolate dark brown color, you know, that's everywhere right now. So I got a few things in this brown color. Guys, I mean, this is just such a soft material. I don't even know what it is, um, but this is a European medium, US medium. Perfect length at the waist, not too long, not too short. You can wear it, you know, tucked or untucked and it just feels like cashmere, but it's not, you know? The only thing about this material is that when you wash it, you're gonna have to pull the arms apart. Like it wrinkles to a bunch. It washes weird, that's the only thing. And then you have to like put your arm, put your hand through, you know, to like unbunch it together. So I do this after it comes out of the wash and then I just air dry it on the hanger. So that's the only weird thing. If you are a lazy laundry person, this shirt might not be for you. I love this shirt so much. I actually ended up getting two. And then as if I don't have enough brown already, I end up getting this kind of mock neck shirt. Perfectly hits at the waist, but this one you can tuck in more, which I think is nice. And not a full turtleneck, again, that mock neck. And then this three quarter sleeve. As you can see, these browns, they are similar, but a little bit different. This one's more on the warmer side. This one's on the cooler. Maybe this one is more like espresso and this one's more like brownie. This is also in a size US medium, European medium. Next, I got another brown shirt, but this brown is more of a very light, almost gray brown compared to the other two browns I showed you. And this shirt is nothing special. I honestly could have gotten something like this at Brandy, but the price on Zara, ironically, was better. And it's exactly what I wanted. It's just a, a crew neck, long sleeve kind of tee shirt, so can be super casual, but could also be a little bit dressed up if you want to tuck it in and, you know, put a belt on. This one is, is a little bit longer than waist length, so it's more of a tucking in kind of shirt, but you can wear it untucked, you know, it's not that long, but it's just more on the longer side. And then I got that same shirt in a white tee because, you know, you just need basics. These are just super basic staples for me. And I, again, I just love the t-shirt material. And again, these are a little bit longer, so it's more for tucking in. And this is also a US medium, European medium. Don't you just love a bright white long sleeve shirt, you know? I hope it can stay this white for a while, but we'll see. And then lastly with the tops, I got gray. <laughs> now this is pretty similar to the black top I'm wearing, except it's the same kind of cashmere-like material as the brown shirt I showed you earlier. So yeah, when you wash it, again, it's kind of weird because it gets bunched up and then you have to put your hand through it so you can unbunch it. Again, if you are a lazy laundry person, this shirt might not be good for you. I like the details on this shirt. I like that vertical, you know, kind of lines going through. I like the small ruffle at the bottom. This one is also perfectly cropped at the waist. This one doesn't have much room for you to tuck in at all. It's basically just waist length, but not super cropped. It has buttons. You can button it all the way to the top or just leave a couple open. Again, I think the arms are kind of long for someone who's 5'3 like me. But if you are someone who, you know, is model-esque, have super long arms, this will be perfect for you. Otherwise, again, it kind of bunches up because my arms are shorter. But yeah, love this. As you can see, I have a lot of gray and a lot of brown in this haul. Okay, I have one more thing to show you guys. And oh, I'm just, I'm too excited about this. It's just this beautiful camel kind of long coat. There's hidden pockets on the side. It's super skinny, so you can't even see, but here they are. So two pockets on the side. Just one of those long jackets that hits at the knee, for me anyway, because I'm 5'3". It's just an updated camel coat. What I love about this one is that, first of all, it was only $50, so what a steal. This one wasn't on sale when I got it at Black Friday, but for a jacket, I thought the price was good enough. 
so I just decided to splurge on this. But what I like about it is that it's not super heavy. It feels like felt, but it's not heavy. So it's perfect if you live in California like me and you have kind of mild winters, like 45 to 65 degree weather on a daily basis. It's just a perfect fall winter jacket right now. And I actually got this jacket because I, I, I watched um, CW's Nancy Drew and she was wearing something like this. Just fell absolutely in love with it. And I'm like, this would work so well for me because I can just style it with so many things. And this color, you know, just goes with all the jeans I got, just goes with all the basic tops I got, you know, it's just perfect. Again, I just like like that it's super lightweight. Traditional camel coats are just super heavy and super wooly and just weighs you down. I just love that this just feels like felt. It's not heavy, but it still keeps me warm enough, which I appreciate. But also, um, a US medium, European medium. Again, I think Zara sizing runs a little bit smaller, so for me, who's 5'3", you know, size 6 to 8, I opted for a medium also in the jacket. I think I did try on a small at the store. It felt too tight in the arms. Anyway, guys, that was my Zara haul. It's stuff that I've collected over the last three months and as recently as Black Friday. If you've watched this far, I just want to tell you that some of you have been watching me for a while and knew that I used to be a size 0 to 2, especially from my big weight loss video about four years ago now, which is crazy. But I've been holding on to those clothes for kind of a super long time. And I recently, as of like a month and a half ago, finally let them go. And it was the hardest thing for me because it made me feel as if I'd given up on my goals or something. That's not true. Like, don't ever give up on your goals. More so what that experience taught me was that I didn't accept where my body was at any point of my journey. I just never accepted the size I was. Only in the last few months I have realized how ridiculous it was that I had no pants, no jeans that fit me and hadn't fit me for a few years now. So I'm just super grateful to be the size that I am and to have jeans that fit me now and to have clothes that I absolutely love. So I just wanted to tell you that if you're still watching, learn to accept where you are and to accept your body, to love yourself wherever you are. Yeah, I think you get what I'm trying to say, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.